Ever wondered how the Battle of Marineford would have turned out if Sabo had crashed the scene? What if Shanks did not stop Kaido from coming to Marineford? What if Whitebeard and Ace made it out alive? In this video, we talk about the unexpected alliances, fiery clashes, and emotional reunions that would take place. As you may remember, Sabo was one of the three boys who grew up together in the Grey Terminal, along with Luffy and Ace. They shared a bond of brotherhood and a dream of freedom, and they even exchanged cups of sake to seal their vow. However, Sabo's life took a tragic turn when his noble father found him and forced him to return to his abusive family. Sabo tried to escape by sailing away on his own, but he was attacked by a world noble and his ship was destroyed. Everyone assumed he was dead, including Luffy and Ace. But Sabo Sabo survived. Thanks to the intervention of Monkey D. Dragon, the leader of the Revolutionary Army and Luffy's father, Dragon rescued Sabo and took him under his wing, training him to become a revolutionary and a fighter for justice. Sabo grew up to be a loyal and powerful member of Dragon's organization, rising to the rank of Chief of Staff and commanding respect from his comrades. He also inherited Ace's Devil Fruit, the Mara Mara no Mi. After winning it in a tournament at Dressrosa, Sabo's skills and abilities are impressive, as he can use both advanced forms of hockey and create fire with his fists. But Sabo's memories were not forgotten, as he still cherished his memories of Luffy and Ace. He was devastated when he learned that Ace had died at Marineford, and he blamed himself for not being there to help him. He also regretted not being able to reunite with Luffy sooner, as he only met him again at Dressrosa after 12 years of separation. Sabo vowed to protect Luffy from now on, as he's his only remaining brother. But what if things had been different? What if Sabo had arrived at Marineford before Ace's execution? How would that have affected the outcome of the war and the lives of the characters? That's what we're going to explore in this video. We're going to imagine a scenario where Sabo joins the battle at Marineford, alongside Luffy and his allies, and see how that changes everything. Luffy is a formidable force to be reckoned with in the world of One Piece. His unique ability allows him to stretch his limbs to incredible lengths, bounce back from attacks, and even withstand the impact of powerful blows. And we've got Ace, who possesses the power of the Flame Flame Fruit, which allows him to control and manipulate fire at will. His fiery abilities make him a force to be reckoned with in battle, as he can create power powerful flames to incinerate his enemies or shield himself from attacks. Both brothers have their own destinies. And then we got Sabo, the missing piece of the puzzle, who vanished from the scene way too soon. But what if he didn't? If Sabo had shown up at Marineford, he would not have been able to get the Mara Mara no Mi Devil Fruit. This is because two people cannot have the same Devil Fruit at the same time. One of them would have to die for the other one to be able to eat it. Mara Mara no Mi is Japanese for flame flame fruit. Sabo also had a fighting technique called the Dragon Claw. He is also a highly intelligent strategist, able to think on his feet and come up with creative solutions to difficult problems. He is just that guy. Sabo swoops into the madness of Marine Ford like a phoenix reborn. Just when things are about to go all lava lava on Luffy, Sabo swoops in like a real superhero and boom. He could have used his dragon claw to slice through the white beard pirate's ranks or to melt the ice that Okiji was using to freeze the battlefield. He could have even used it to attack Akaniyu directly. And who knows, maybe he could have even defeated him. It's all just speculation, of course, but it's fun to think about what could have been. If Sabo had been at Marineford, the outcome of this battle might have been very different. All right, but Sabo is not the only one who would change the course of this war. There are also some other characters who would have a different fate or a different role if Sabo was there. One of the most surprising and interesting alliances that would have formed during the war is between Crocodile, Ivankov, and Buggy. Let's talk about an alliance that sounds like it's fresh out of One Piece. Crocodile, who was a former Shichibukai who wanted to kill Whitebeard and take over the world, Ivankov, who was a revolutionary leader who wanted to save Luffy and Ace, and Buggy, the clown pirate who, well, just wants to escape the war and become famous. Imagine this. Crocodile, driven by his desire to topple Whitebeard, changes gears to target Ace instead. But hey, wait! Luffy swoops in and requests Crocodile's aid in rescuing Ace. I know, I know, it's like Luffy's got some real persuasive powers. Ivankov, the stalwart revolutionary, joins the fray to land a hand, but then there's Buggy, the accidental hero, who's cornered into the chaos. But hey, who knew his knack for dodging danger would accidentally earn him a following? The real juice happens when these three oddballs find themselves facing the ultimate enemy. Now, there's no choice then to work together. Well, it will happen when they face a common enemy. Akainu. Akainu was one of the admirals who wanted to kill Luffy and Ace at any cost. He was ruthless and merciless, and he didn't care about collateral damage or innocent lives. He even killed one of his own men for trying to run away from the war. He was a threat to everyone on the battlefield. Crocodile steps up, sand swirling to protect Luffy and Ace from Akainu's wrath. Ivankov, never one to back down, brings those powers into play, creating explosive shockwaves that collide with Akainu's fiery fury. And guess what? 
that, our reluctant hero, Buggy, stumbles into the fray as well. But what starts as a getaway attempt turns into a last minute save as Crocodile and Ivankov pull him from Akainu's clutches. Then there are talks about an unexpected rescue mission. Together, this trio of misfits band together, using their unique skills to face Akainu head on. Crocodile sandstorms, Ivankov's hormone based explosions hold their ground, and Buggy's chop chop powers get creative in battle. What makes this alliance even more mind blowing is that there are a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. Three wildly different characters with divergent goals and quirks come together for a common cause to make a difference in the war. But what would be Sabo's motivation for joining the battle in the first place? We all know that Sabo had a very strong bond with Ace and Luffy, as they were his sworn brothers since childhood. They shared their dreams, their hardships, and their adventures together. Sabo would be devastated when he learns that Ace was captured by the world government and sentenced to death. Feeling guilty for not being there for him, he blames himself for losing his memory and forgetting about his brothers for so long. He decides he has to save Ace, no matter what. He was willing to risk his life, his identity, and his position in the Revolutionary Army in this situation for his brother. He also would want to see Luffy again, and support him on his quest to become the Pirate King. Sabo's got this master plan, a heist-worthy scheme to rescue Ace. He's got keys stolen, disguises planned, and a cache of medical supplies that rivals a one-piece infirmary. With a dash of brilliance and a sprinkle of daring, he's like a ninja blending into the chaos. And this is what would have happened. Sabo's presence would have changed the course of the battle in many ways. He helped Luffy break through the siege wall and reach the execution platform. He fought against several marines and warlords, such as Kizaru, Mihawk, and Doflamingo. He also clashed with Blackbeard, who just betrayed Whitebeard and killed Thatch. Sabo used his Dragon Claw technique to injure Blackbeard and prevent him from stealing Whitebeard's power. He also saved Luffy from being killed by Akainu, who just fatally wounded Ace. Sabo used his Haki to block Akainu's magma fist and protect Luffy from further harm. He then carried Luffy to safety, along with Jinbi and Ivankov. Sabo's intervention saved Luffy's life and gave him a chance to recover from his injuries. Sabo interacted with many characters during the battle, some of whom were surprised or shocked by his appearance. Whitebeard recognized Sabo as one of Ace's brothers and welcomed him as an ally. He thanked Sabo for helping Luffy in fighting against Blackbeard. He also entrusted Ace's will to Sabo before he died from his wounds. Blackbeard was enraged by Sabo's attack and swore revenge against him. He tried to pursue Sabo and Luffy, but was stopped by Shanks who arrived at the scene. The admirals and the warlords were curious about Sabo's identity and power and tried to capture or kill him. They were impressed by his skills in hockey, but were also wary of his affiliation with the revolutionaries. Sabo managed to evade or repel most of their attacks using his speed and agility. And let's not forget about the surprise factor. Ace and Luffy's jaws hitting the floor as they realize their dead brother is alive and kicking, an emotional roller coaster. Well, you can imagine how emotional and epic it would be to see Sabo reunite with his long lost brothers on the battlefield. Sabo would be shocked to see Luffy and Ace alive and vice versa. This whole ride isn't just about punches and power, it's about emotional punches too. They would hug each other, cry, and laugh, all while dodging bullets and cannonballs. They would also express their admiration and respect for each other's achievements, such as Sabo becoming a revolutionary, Luffy becoming a Pirate King candidate, and Ace becoming a White Gear commander. They would also share their regrets and apologies for not being there for each other in the past, such as Sabo leaving them when he was young, Luffy not being able to save Ace from being captured, and Ace not being able to protect Luffy from the admirals. But more than anything, they would be determined to fight together and escape from Marine Ford alive. They would unleash their combined power of fire, rubber, and dragon claws and take on anyone who stands in their way. They would also support each other emotionally and physically. We would see something like Sabo helping Luffy recover from his injuries, Luffy cheering up Sabo when he feels guilty or hopeless, and Ace protecting both of them from fatal attacks. They would also coordinate their strategies and tactics, such as Sabo creating diversions or openings for Luffy and Ace to exploit. Luffy distracting the enemies or drawing their attention away from Sabo and Ace, and Ace using his fire to cover or enhance Sabo and Luffy's attacks. But that's not all. Sabo's arrival at Marineford would also have some major implications for the One Piece world and its secrets. As a revolutionary, Sabo would have access to some classified information that most people don't know about. He would also have some connections to some influential figures that could change the course of the war. For instance, Sabo might know something about the Revolutionary Army's greater plans and objectives, such as their target locations, their allies and enemies, their hidden bases or their ultimate goal. He also knows something about the One Piece world's hidden truths, such as the history of the Void Sentry, the meaning of the D initial, the identity of the ancient weapons, or the nature of the One Piece treasure. Sabo might also have some contact with his fellow revolutionaries or his leader Dragon during the war. He might receive some backup or support from them, such as reinforcements, supplies, or information. He may also communicate with them about his situation or his intentions, such as reporting his status, requesting permission or advice, or expressing his feelings. It's not just Sabo against 
the world. Unexpected allies emerge from the shadows because in a world of pirates, trust is like treasure. All of these scenarios would add unpredictability and excitement to the war, making it even more influential and memorable than before. Speaking of Sabo, check out this video where we talk about what would happen if his brother had killed everyone in his pirate crew. Very interesting. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.